Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I thought I would do some clarifications because I had someone say the other day, Jason, you just made this video on uh, saying that you don't think cardio is a particularly effective tool for fat loss. You had said before these coaches who were doing certain things and promoting certain tools for or bragging about certain tools for their clients for these contest prep, and I'm already against contest prep. I don't think people should compete in physique competitions that require you to get so lean that it hurts your health. Um, you had a problem with them telling everyone they're getting their clients and bragging about getting their clients contest lean with no cardio and no food restrictions. In other words, being able to eat whatever junk they want and work it into their macros. Uh, and yeah, that's not fitness. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing, work on skill at my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. And I think the confusion here is that people are saying that I'm against cardio completely and I'm not. Um, I did cardio successfully during my entire time I was bulking. And I probably need to do a different video on that of explaining how conditioning work actually can be useful on your bulk for a lot of people. It actually can be. In fact, I would say when we talk about athletes needing conditioning, all right, we talk about athletes needing conditioning because that point's been brought up too. Well, you know, athletes need to be conditioned. They're not just body composition. That's true. But you do everything in phases as an athlete. You can't reach every goal that you have as an athlete all the time. And all, most of all athletes have an off season at some point. Um, then the point here being your conditioning work needs to be done, particularly when you're, you're a body composition focused athlete, someone who needs a lot of muscle for your sport. It isn't ideal for you to be losing muscle mass when you're cutting body weight. Why are we cutting body weight? Why does any athlete cut body weight? Because they want to lose body fat and maintain or improve performance, right? It's a body composition goal. They usually want to lose fat. They're not trying to lose muscle. Cardio is a weight loss tool, in my experience and experience of many other people, induces muscle loss. Why? Because it depletes your resources, it has its own training adaptations, and it doesn't stimulate muscle growth. For people who lift already, even hit cardio doesn't stimulate muscle growth. It can actually cause you to lose muscle. Uh, there's not really particularly good data showing that hit is particularly good for stimulating muscle growth. You're losing weight training sessions. You're losing recovery to your weight training to deal with this. You're better off lifting with as much volume as you can recover from on all your big exercises to stimulate muscle growth so that you can hold on to muscle and then use your diet and use various appetite controlling tools to bring your calories into check so that you can lose body fat more effectively while maintaining muscle mass because that should be our goal. And other goals have to go to the wayside. You shouldn't be cutting so close to a competitive event that you have to keep up all your sport specific skills. You really, if you're gonna cut, you need to focus on body composition. That needs to be your goal for that phase. You guys notice I'm not even doing my, my competition lifts at this moment, really. There's no real focus on them. I'm focusing on overall size. I'm trying to stimulate muscle growth. I'm trying to hold on to muscle while I drop the next 15 pounds, just like I did this last 15 pounds, because that's my goal. I can always re-peak for my sport specific stuff. An athlete can always get their conditioning back up. They're gonna to need to scale their conditioning work down during a weight loss phase. I mean, realistically, um, if they don't, they're gonna risk losing muscle mass. And some athletes will need to maintain some cardio and conditioning work. They're not gonna be able to do the amounts they do when they're eating an extra 1,500 calories more than they're eating right now though. See the problem there? They're gonna be able to adapt to it better with more food. Whether they're back at maintenance calories or they're in a small surplus, that's when they need to deal with it. And that, that's a topic of another video. Uh, but that's what I did before. I was doing an hour of cardio a day during my last bulk. An hour every day. And it didn't interfere with my bulk. Because <laughs> you just eat more food. Cardio makes you hungry anyways, right? It's what it's good at. It's really good at making you hungry. But there are benefits to doing it that way. Um, and again, for weight loss, it's not that great. My problem, my problem with these coaches, and the reason I said that before, these were coaches who were promoting really an anti-fitness lifestyle. Uh, when I say that the cardio is not necessarily an effective tool here, I'm not bragging about it. It's not me saying, hey, I'm, I'm magical, I'm special, I'm such an amazing lifter and coach because I can cut without cardio. It's not a selling point. It's saying that no, I've just got my food intake under control. I also carry enough muscle mass that my maintenance calories are well over 3,000. My cutting calories are over 3,000 calories on no cardio. 
Uh, again, look at my DEXA scan. Someone else had said that makes sense. Someone ran my formulas and my numbers and said, yeah, actually, technically, your maintenance based on calculations, based upon your DEXA scan and other stats in your training looks like it probably is closer to 37, 3,800. And that's a real was a realistic calculation there. So when you factor it in that way, uh, there you go. And it's not like I don't do other activity. I have a dog that gets walked a couple times a day. Um, I do a lot of shooting, actually. Like people don't realize that shooting isn't something I just do once a month. It's something I do a lot of, and it's all standing and active. Um, I, I do a lot of other stuff. I do a lot of shopping. So I'm up and about doing other things. I don't just sit and then do my, my, my lifting sessions. So contrary to, to popular, popular beliefs, I am still active. It's just not real cardio. Walking your dog isn't necessarily real cardio. It's physical activity. And, you know, you should be doing those things. You should be active. Um, but my concern is that I see coaches who are doing that, and they're putting people who don't necessarily have enormous amounts of muscle on really low-calorie diets, a lot of flexible dieting, and with them doing no cardio, particularly their female athletes, their caloric intakes are dropping really, really low, and they're working junk food in. You, they're going to develop dietary deficiencies. That's not healthy. That's not ideal. It's not ideal. But I would say to most people, I mean, realistically, if you want to cut easier with no cardio, build more muscle, get as big and as strong as you can, get as big as you want to be, as strong as you want to be, then cut down later, right? That, that's your best way to do it. If you don't want to use a bunch of cardio to cut, that's probably your best method. Um, but my concern is that a lot of these coaches who are promoting this, um, I'm watching them and their people, and they've had some of their clients on camera, and they seemed really, really stemmed out. They seemed like they were tweaked out. Again, I'm not going to name names, but when I made that video, I was observing this happening, and I'm concerned that, you know, there's amphetamine use and things being promoted with the people that they're coaching to achieve this result, and, and that's a concern also. Um, that's a valid concern. If people don't, if you don't think physique competitors use various amphetamines uh, and other narcotics to help with their cutting, you clearly have not been around these circles. You clearly have not. Uh, hell, it's even done by some naturals. All right, so let that sink in. So when you see people who are doing that and they've got people all tweaked out and they're getting them ultra shredded with no cardio while still doing a lot of flexible dieting and their people are really hyper and tweaked out, um, there's something going on here that's not a very fitness-oriented lifestyle. And yes, I have observed people who can do that firsthand who do pull that off and drop a bunch of body fat and get real lean uh, just because of their recreational drug use. And that's exactly what a, it appears to be that some of these coaches have been doing with their clients. Uh, and that was a valid concern when I made that video. So we need some perspective here. We need some perspective here. So I'm not telling people not to do cardio at all. I'm telling you that cardio is not a particularly valuable fat loss tool when you are trying to maximize fat loss and maximize muscle retention. In other words, if your goal is just scale weight, that's one thing. But if your goal is actual fat loss, cardio is not the best tool available to you. I think serious weight training so with moderate weights, moderate volume, uh, combined with strict diet adherence, that's your key. That's how you lose body fat. That's all there is to it. Those are, that's your magic secret. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.